What's up you guys? Welcome to today's video. We've got a styling video featuring ankle boots and how to wear them with different types of jeans. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. Today's video is also sponsored by Nordstrom. The shoes today are ones that I've gathered throughout 2018. They're some of my ultimate favorites and I will link everything that I mentioned in today's video down below in the description box in case you guys are interested. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I love you so so much you guys. Let's go ahead and get started. First up, let's talk about some cuffs. Are your jeans just a little bit too long? Do they look a little funky and are not cooperating? A quick cough can get your jeans looking super tailored and also let your ankle boots shine at the same time. Grab the bottom hem of your jeans and flip it back up until you see about a one to two inch sliver of skin in between the top of the ankle booty and the bottom of the jean. What this is doing is it's providing a visual break between the denim and your ankle booty. It's defining the nip in your ankle, providing a nice slimming effect from the front and also the side profile. And for the size of the cuff, I'd keep it at around three inches max. Another thing to think about is the actual color on the underside of the jean. Sometimes it's lighter, giving it a really contrasting look. Or like these dark rinse blue jeans and black jeans, the color is exactly the same. So the cuff, no matter how large it is, it still looks pretty subtle because it's the same color on color. Style number two is a rolled hem. This one's got two rolls. Fold your hem back once and then do it a second time. And I still keep that one to two inches of skin showing. Now this one is great if you have a pair of jeans that's a little bit long and you need to really eat up that fabric. So you get the extra fold to roll up all that excess. It's also really great if you have a really high boot shaft and you need to lift up your jeans to clear the top of the boot. It also gives a cleaner look to the cuff. If you have say a raw hem with lots of loose threads, cuffing it a second time hides a lot of that raw edging and the double roll gives you a firmer seal on the cuff. The cuff itself on this one I recommend going a little bit smaller with the height just because you have so much excess fabric you don't want to look too chunky so I'd say around one to two inches would be a good uh, average to shoot for. Option number three, if you're not into the cuff look or you don't want to fuss with it, I highly recommend trying an ankle length or a cropped skinny jean. I look for jeans that are around two to three inches shorter than my normal inseam length and it makes it so convenient because I could just throw on the jeans and my ankle booties and I am ready to go. It gives a very seamless look because you don't have that cuff at the bottom. I also find it easier to interchange my one pair of jeans with a lot of different ankle booties because I don't have to keep adjusting the cuff every single time. And if you have a hard time finding your perfect pair, taking one of your older pair of jeans to the tailor to get them professionally hemmed will give your jeans a whole new purpose and a completely new look. Lastly, I wanna show you guys these two shoes side by side. This is one of my favorite features of ankle booties. Anything with those dramatic side cutouts give an extra boost to the leg lengthening effect. It makes the low chunky heel and wedge booty look a lot less bulky visually. Definitely some of my favorite buys from the Nordstrom anniversary sale this year because I can walk in them all day long. They're currently on sale again in case you guys want to check them out. Number four, let's talk about some cropped and more straight leg types of jeans. I really love this silhouette. It gives me a break from my skinny jeans and it also lends for a really cool edgy effect when paired with ankle boots. I do have a specific aesthetic that I do like with this type of jean. I do like a more svelte look, something like a sock booty, something that's very tight and chokes up higher on the leg with a higher boot shaft. And unlike my last examples, it's okay to not show any skin. Defining your ankle is the most important thing. And you're achieving that through the contrast of the wider jean leg compared to the really skin tight fitting sock booty. Not only are these jeans cropped, but they also have shredded hems. A really cute street style look. And I actually apply the same concept with other pairs of pants. Like I have a pair of trousers in my last video that I pair with some pointy toed stiletto heel sock booties and I also did the same with a chunkier heel version paired with a darker rinse cropped straight jean. So if you guys are going to do this style I definitely recommend you guys experimenting with some fun edgy booties. I'm very like plain and simple with mine but you can do like a really cool patent red or pattern for a really cool statement look. 
Number five, I love me a pair of flare jeans, you guys. Ah, so leg lengthening. The higher the waist, the longer you look. The key thing with flare jeans is I always, always, always wear them with a pointy toed high heel shoe. Now, I normally rock it with a high heel pump because I'm 5'2 and I always need that extra lift up to make sure that my jeans aren't dragging all over the ground. But during the fall and winter time, it's also really great because I can rock my pointy toed high high heel boots to get some extra warmth coverage underneath those jeans and I still get that same great leg lengthening illusion. My key tip is to make sure to see a little bit of that triangular peak of the shoe so that you don't look so up and down like a floating cacturn. I also appreciate these boots because they have a chunkier heel so that they are more comfortable than my typical stiletto pump. And of course if you're taller you don't need such an extreme high heel of a shoe to get the jeans off the ground. You you can do something that's a lot lower, like a kitten heel, but with the same pointy toe silhouette. Number six, let's talk about the good old fashioned tuck. Tucking your jeans inside your ankle booties is obviously one of the easiest ways to handle your denim hems, but there are some quick tips to help you really finesse the process. And I know a lot of people say not to do that, but I wanna at least share a few personal tips in case you guys do wanna try it. First, I highly recommend sticking with a more skinnier leg jean, something that's form-fitting or at least tapers in from the knee downward. You wanna minimize any extra fabric because it'd be so hard to shove all that extra denim into the ankle booty itself. It's gonna bunch every time you walk. So you wanna keep this as like streamlined as possible. You also don't wanna lose the definition of the legs. So I highly recommend a skinny jean for this pairing with a boot with a higher fitted boot shaft, just so that the line of demarcation between the jean and the actual shoe isn't like shoop, right there at my ankles. It makes the proportion of shoe versus denim a little less severe. Now I wanted to show you guys a more high contrast example with this dark rinse pair of jeans paired with my favorite suede nude booties of the season from Sam Edelman. But let's go into our final tip. Going matchy matchy monochromatic with your denim and ankle booty pairing. Of course, my favorite is the black on black. You got some sleek black pair of jeans with some awesome black booties and it looks so polished and professional enough for the office or also just like really cool like city girl chic. You know what I'm saying? I just love it. So let's break this down. Black on black on black is obviously a really great foolproof power combo. It hides a lot and you also get the lengthening benefits of having that continuous color running from your neck all the way down to the tippy toes of your shoes. These boots are new to my collection but I chose them for a specific reason. This is the classic Chelsea style boot. You got the trademark elasticized side panels to give you guys that nice sucked in form fitting feel and you also have a very elongated pointed toe to give you that visual length and kind of just stretch you out. When wearing a low heel booty, I do prefer at least a slight almond toe just to give you that extra length in the front. It provides more visual balance compared to the leg and thigh. And for this like business casual outfit that I'm showing you for this example, the boots really elevate the whole look and you also get the added comfort of a low heel that you can walk around in all day long. Solid black jeans with some classic black Chelsea booties is a combo I'll definitely be rocking well into my 30s. All right, guys, that does it for my seven different ways I like to style my denim jeans with my ankle booties. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. If you guys are interested in anything mentioned in today's video, all the sizing and pricing is down below in the description box. I hope you guys are having a fabulous 2019 so far. I can't believe we're already a week in, and I'm just sending so much love out there. Our regular programming will be coming very shortly in this upcoming week and I'm excited to have another year of learning and growing with you guys. Thank you guys so much and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Talk to you guys real soon. Bye!